Welcome to this tutorial on training a custom style model using Scenario. In this video, we'll show you how to create a style model that consistently generates visuals based on your chosen aesthetic. Whether you're working on game assets, illustrations, or design projects, this method will help you establish a distinct, reusable style. First, ensure that all the images in your dataset are high quality, ideally with a resolution of 1024 pixels or higher. Higher resolution images will allow the model to capture fine details like textures and brush strokes. If your images are too small, you can use Scenario's Enhance tool to increase their resolution. Next, make sure your training images display a consistent visual style that you'd like the AI model to learn. While the style should remain the same, you'll want to include a range of subjects and compositions. This diversity allows the model to apply the style to different scenarios without losing its core characteristics. To illustrate this, let's look at a good data set. It contains varied images, all reflecting the same style but in different contexts. This helps the model generate a wider range of outputs. Here's an example of a poor data set where there are too few images and the images are too similar to each other. This leads to repetitive outputs and limits the model's flexibility. It's now time to train your model. Go to the models page and select train new model. You'll then choose a base model depending on the specific needs of your project. If you're new to training models, we recommend starting with 10 to 15 images. As you become more skilled in curating datasets, you'll be able to work with larger sets of around 20 to 30 images. When uploading your images, make sure they're cropped to a square or adjust the cropping directly in the scenario interface. After importing the dataset, you can choose to keep the captions as they are, make them more elaborate, or remove them entirely. When you're ready, click Train and wait for the process to complete. The time this takes will depend on the size of your dataset and the base model you've chosen. Once the training is finished, it's time to test your model. Start with a simple prompt that reflects the core features of your style. If you're not sure where to begin, try using PromptSpark, a simple yet powerful feature that generates prompt suggestions based on your dataset captions. This can help you find some good prompt structures to iterate from. You can experiment with different prompts to see how the style adapts to various subjects or scenes. To facilitate your process, you can pin your best images. This helps PromptSpark learn from your preferences and refine future generations to better match your expectations. It's time to finalize your model. Be sure to give it a clear description that outlines the style's key features. And don't forget to tag your model or include it in a relevant collection. This will help keep everything organized and make it easier to access later. By following these steps, you'll have a fully trained style model that can be used to streamline asset creation for games, illustrations, or any other media projects. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other tutorials and resources in the Scenario Knowledge Center. Keep creating, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.